Whenever you hear the names of smart city around the globe, you name the you heard the name of Subhanjrong. Right now, I'm sitting with the chief architect of Subhanjrong, Mr. Kim. As you know, the Subhanjrong is a leading architect around the globe in the smart cities around every country in the world. So let him ask. Let me ask him some some questions about the Subhanjrong and the contract between mass developers and Subhanjrong and previous history of Subhanjrong on Pakistan as smart cities or uh, like uh, Lahore smart city and capital smart city. So Kim, how are you? I'm good. Thank you very much. Uh, Kim, my first question is: uh, What is the basic uh, introduction of Subhana Jurong? Well, Subhana Jurong uh, is actually a com an international company who is uh, multidisciplinary in nature, and we have offices in over 110 countries all over the world. And this is the first time we are actually coming to Sialkot, so we are very excited about that. Okay. Initially, when we started promoting Lahore Smart and Capital Smart, we used the name of Subhana Jurong as the chief architect and chief designer, and we said this is the company which designs Singapore. So tell us something about the Singapore design. Yes, uh, Sabana Jurong uh, did the uh, master plan, the uh, capital smart city as well as the Lahore smart city. And uh, I think that uh, we are actually trying to, to bring across uh, all the uh, technology and the concepts that we have learned in uh, Singapore, because Singapore is also a smart city itself, into and appropriate it in, in a very contextualized way in, uh, in Pakistan. So we hope to do this also in Sialkot. Uh, Singapore is basically the smartest city in the world because uh, it's a moderate city uh, which is around the globe. You can use Singapore as an example. Uh, around the globe, the Singapore is the only city which is totally designed from zero to uh, land because Singapore is the center of financial hub. So Singapore is uh, designed by Sorbana Jong. What was your experience in Lahore Smart City specifically and Capital Smart City after Singapore? And is it true that Smart Developer is the second largest group which is uh, signing you in uh, Salgore Motor City? Yes, uh, my colleagues uh, were actually uh, no, master planning the uh, capital smart city and also the Lahore smart city. And over here, I think uh, every every project is different. No, so what we do is that we really un have to understand what Sialkot no is like, what it really needs, and how to transform it in a very smart way. So I I wouldn't uh, cookie cutter no every project and and sort of like uh, no use it as a replication. Every project is unique. As you all know that the Sialkot is basically a financial hub of Pakistan as Singapore is a financial hub of the world. So if you see the exports of Pakistan, one third of the export is uh, totally from the derived from Sialkot, Sialkot city. So if uh, Surbana Jirog is coming to Sialkot, it means the new Singapore is coming to Pakistan in the form of Sialkot Motor City. Let me, let me ask you some more questions about yeah, sure. uh, when, will the master, when is the exact date the master plan of Sialkot Motor City is, account, is about to launch? Yes, uh, Mass Developers is a very aggressive uh, developer. But we are ready to take on the challenge, you no? Know? And even if they're given us a very uh, aggressive deadline, uh, say about six months to complete the, you know, the project, uh, including an iconic, uh, you no, know, uh, gateway that we're going to uh, establish here in Sialkot Motorway City, we believe that with our resources, we can even shorten the time so that we can even deliver ahead of time for our developers. So, what is the expected date of master plan we can expect from you? I mean, it's like uh, normally, it's like a, a general good master plan takes uh, about six months, you know, but we can actually shorten that time even much more. Okay, let me ask some more question about the sure. Singapore Motor City. Uh, what is basic like uh, in Singapore? You design Singapore in such a way that financial hub is on a separate district, and on the other side, residential districts are totally separate, and other districts are totally separate, uh, like healthcare district, sports district, and other district. Sialkot Motor City. In what is your planning about Sialkot Motor City? How how you are going to design the city to replicate the Singapore in Pakistan? I believe that uh, uh, some uh, some elements are universal. No? We are all human beings, and and what we do is that we try to design. For the people, no, for the for the for the residents of that uh, of that community, housing community, and for that reason, I think three of the most important ingredients, which is work, live, and play, has got to be integrated together. Right. Yes. Okay. And uh, what is the tallest building you're about to design in Salgur Motor City, and what is the expected date date of launch of that tallest building in Salgur oh, Motor City? The tallest building. If you're if you're arriving from air, because, because from, from, from Salgur. Uh, international airport, you'll be able to see it. Don't worry, you know. <laughs> Actually, we are hearing about this from the certain last few months that the, the tallest building in this region is about to launch in Sialkot Motor City. And we know the location, being the sales partner of uh, Sialkot Motor City, I already know the location of that project, that this is the exact location of this project. I'm just asking about, the, I'm curious about the project, that how much, how is the design of that project specifically, mm -hmm. and how much uh, the industry of Sialkot can integrate with that specific project? I, I believe that the, the, the demand I mean uh, uh, is actually very uh, pent up and uh, I'm very very uh, certain that the response that we have no, 
uh, when the when the project's launch is going to be a very good one. This I can guarantee you. Just for the record, that Sialkot Motor City is giving some project in Sialkot uh, Motor City in design form. Uh, like uh, the industry of Sialkot Motor City is totally dependent on Lahore, uh, Lahore or uh, you can say Islamabad because the Lahore distance is around 45 kilometer, 45 minutes plus minus. And every industry in Sialkot usually go to Lahore for their head office and Sialkot Motor City is bringing the technology and the modern era into their doorstep. So Sialkot Motor City is designing, but is designed by Sorbana Jog as the chief architect is sitting beside me. So let me ask some more question about uh, the thing. What is special about the Chamber of Commerce and Industry in this Alcott Motor City design? Because this question I usually get from the Chamber of uh, Commerce and Industry. The most important question that what is specific, specially designed there for us? I mean, Cell for the business community. For the business community. I mean, I'm sure you know that Cellcott actually produces the most footballs for the world. The and I think in, if you yeah. go to FIFA World Cup in Qatar, probably the football that I'm, going, I'm buying is actually made in Cellcott, correct? Yes. Sir. So you're... you're your country is already producing world-class manufacturing, world-class uh, products. But why is it that nobody knows Cellcord? Yeah. It doesn't have, no, nobody knows it. So I hope that the Cellcord Motorway City will give Cellcord City itself a brand, a brand whereby in the future, you ask anybody, uh, do you know Cellcord? Of course, that's the country which actually produces my football. That is what Subhan Jong can bring to Pakistan and specifically to the Sialkot Motor City. Well, viewers, this was it from today. And thank you, Kim. Thank, thank you so much. Thank for you the very time. much. Thank you for having thank me. Thank you so much well, uh, for giving Sialkot this auspicious gift no, it's my, in the it's, form of Subhan Jong. It's thank my, my pleasure. Thank you very much. <laughs>